welcome to another episode of Startup and You. I'm Gitanjali Devaka. Have you ever had tough times finding the right person to help you out when your car breaks down? Has the pandemic added to your worries? Meet Vimal Singh, the CEO and founder of Ready Assist. During our discussion, Vimal Singh tells us more about the sector and its scopes in the post-COVID-19 era. Tell us more about how you've adopted technology in your business. Ready Assist itself is a tech-assisted roadside assistance platform. So today, like any other business, technology became a backbone irrespective of what domain we operate. Similarly, we also have built a very strong operating system for our own business. So if you look at it, we have a lot of mechanic skills and mechanics who are working with us. Different mechanics possess different skill sets. Let's say a guy who is very good at doing Audi may not be very good at doing Harley-Davidson. So these are some things which the technology addresses today for us to easily understand the skill mapping, easily understand who is a mechanic, who is the right guy to do it. On top of it, a lot of back-end operation, settlement of those payments, understanding who is doing a mistake. There is also an interesting technology piece which we have put inside, which is more of a quality understanding, which has not come into live yet, but something which we are working at. Because since we are are looking at a large scale expansion there could be chances there are some mechanics who could do something which is faulty so we are building something which is more of automated qc control process which will trigger a short 6 minutes 8 minute training video content for the mechanics in case they have a bad rating it is auto triggered only if they finish that then they will be allowed to work on in our platform on that similar subject let's say he did a puncture repair and customer said his work is not good he didn't have the proper tools then there will be a small module of training which will auto trigger in his app where he will be taught about what all those tools you have to mandatorily carry and what all those tools you are supposed to carry and what tools you use for a puncture repair and then of course there will be a qc validation so only after that you would be allowed to work again so these are some ways where technology is helping us in scale making sure the consistency on the quality is delivered making sure the availability which i guarantee to my customer is always maintained a lot of services now have become very technology based how mm-hmm. can business people ensure a certain degree of human connect a lot of business has moved to a fully digital format but unfortunately there are certain business which cannot completely move into a digital format and one such business is ours so we can enable our system through technology we can largely automate our system through technology but at the end there is a human intervention the skilled labor is needed to fix a vehicle on the spot at least at the moment in the technology space there is nothing as such available in the market largely but then over a period of time market would largely change even at that point of time i think we would still have a highly skilled service advisor kind of profile sitting at back end where they would be always available to talk to a customer in case they wanted to talk about their queries understand what's happening with their vehicle and then get a feedback about it even if we largely move into a more automated system but like i said ours is one business which will definitely end up with a human touch our mechanics are finally going to be anyways touch base with the customer and this is where we focus more on grooming and guiding our mechanics to make sure these front facing guys are always equipped enough to work as what ready assess really wanted to be listen to the complete podcast on www.thehindubusinessline.com